All right. Oh wow, he's got another hook in him. That's crazy. Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. I have a fun lure experiment report in which it was actually a, a humbling day to say the least. I had a couple different experiments. The first one was planned, the second one just happened. And so what I'll do is I'll share with you what happened and then I'll explain the results at the end. And I'd love to have your feedback on the next lure experiment to do next. We'll see you on the water. Hey, it's Luke with Salt Strong and I have Otis over here and we are out in Bradenton, Florida. We've got a bridge over to Bradenton behind us and we're gonna be doing a test on rattles. So we have the Power Prawn USAs. One has a rattle, one doesn't have a rattle. And so we're gonna go out and see how much of an impact rattles have in soft plastics. We're using battle rattles. It's a, it's a rattle capsule with two little beads in there. And so how it's gonna work is we're gonna do three casts and then switch, three cast switch. And we're gonna to continue to do that for the entire trip. And we're gonna see what catches the most fish. Otis is the moderator. He will be freaking out when the fish is on. He'll guarantee that he spooks everything, everything else away so that we have to go find uh, new fish every time. But it should be a good time. Sun is just about to pop up. So we're gonna go ahead and get to spot number one. All right, so this trip was a slow start. It was a, a slack tide early in the morning and it really took a while for some, some action to start. And I was basically just skipping up under the trees. When the, when the current flow is light, skipping up under mangroves up in the up and basically right in the roots is a great way to get fish because that's where they're going to be and even if they're not feeding aggressively you get the lure in front of their face and, and they're going to eat it so i was having a tough time get some strikes i finally found an area that had a little bit more life and as i was going down i noticed a couple swirls that were actually off of the shoreline and turns out there were some snook that were chasing down some some bait fish off the trees and that's when i finally got on to fish number one Oh, there we are. Got him. It's like a little snook. All right. Got him. First fish of the day. A little snook. Shook the hook out. That was on the. That was on the one without the rattle. Let's get this guy back in action. All right. We're on board, Otis. So there wasn't much happening in that area and after about five more minutes I decided just to pick up and move. And so I went to spot number two which was a similar area just a little bit closer to the gulf. As I was going up towards the mangroves I noticed some disturbance on the water and I decided to throw the paddle tail out. I had the bomber on a third rod and that's what got a quick strike from a trout. All right, saw some activity on the server so I put the bomber on. Looks like we ought to show the trout. There you are, Otis. Whoa, easy, Otis. Easy, bud. Easy. All right. There he goes. All right. It doesn't seem like they're feeding on shrimp as much as they are bait fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. Instead of rattles versus no rattles, we're doing bomber versus the Power Prone USA. So now we're switching to the bomber just to see if my hunch is correct about paddle tails being the ticket. Well, the way to find out is to start casting. There we are. There's a snook. Oh, there goes a snook. Came up and smacked it. Yeah, this bomber seems to have the ticket today. Had way fewer casts and more action. So with this experiment, I now am using the Bomber three casts and then the Power Prawn USA three casts. And I just kept going down this bank just to see what would happen if the fish truly were dialed on to bait fish or if it didn't really matter. And so, and here's my, my next catch. This was actually back to the Power Prawn USA. Skipped it up under the mangroves. And as I was retrieving it out, I, I di actually didn't feel tension on the line. And that's when I realized I actually had a fish on and time to set the hook. There we are. Uh -huh, it's coming out to me. <laughs> I was retrieving this thing and, uh, and I didn't feel any resistance. And this snook hit it. This is the power prawn. Snook hit it and it was coming right to us. All right. Easy, Otis. Easy, buddy. Oh, 
All right. Oh, wow, he's got another hook in him. That's crazy. He definitely has, there's my hook, and then there's a circle hook there from a live baiter. That's crazy. Let's get a quick pick. See that hook right there in his mouth, that's nuts. We'll get the power prawn hook out, and then we'll get this circle hook out of there. All right, you're hook free there, buddy. All right, back in action, that's crazy. Somebody got broke off with that little dink snook. All right, so just a little bit later, I had switched back to the bomber. I got a nice skip cast up in that little, that little opening. And here's where I, f I finally saw the first redfish of the day. It was actually a really nice red. I thought I saw a shadow follow the bomber out of the, out of the trees. Sure enough, I could now see that it's a solid redfish right behind the bomber. Eat it, big redfish. Oh, ho, ho. big redfish followed up the bomber. That was a really nice one. Came out from way under these mangroves. So this mangrove line, it just wasn't as productive as I'd hoped it would be. So I decided to, to push out and go try out some other spots. And on the way out, as I was going off of, or going away from the trees, going toward the deeper water, I just started casting over the deeper flats and here's where I picked off another trout. Another trout. On the bomber. All right, well that trout ended up being the final catch of the day. It was a slow bite and I had a lot of work to do, so I, I ended up calling it a quick trip. I was just out there for a little over two hours. But I'm curious to get your feedback on, on these on these reviews. I'm gonna do more lure analysis. The, this one just was the, not enough fish catching to, to say one way or the other. And so you, do you prefer to see the rattle test where we're looking at rattles versus no rattles in a shrimp lure, or do you like the shrimp lure versus the paddle tail. Which one do you prefer? I'm gonna do them both. It's just a matter of which one I, I put at the higher priority to knock out first. As far as what I witnessed, this experiment between these two lures, it was really a wash, right? Both of them caught fish. I was actually expecting the bomber to outperform the uh, the shrimp lure, simply because the, the couple times that I saw some, some fish activity, it was, it was bait fish that were getting chased around. I didn't see any shrimp. However, when I was doing the test, the shrimp ended up catching the biggest fish, right? It was that snook that ended up being the biggest fish of the day, whereas the bomber caught two trout, neither of which were very big, and then had that small snook uh, jump off. So anyhow, this was uh, too few fish caught to be conclusive one way or the other. Still fun to do. I'll be doing more, and as I mentioned, I'd love to have your feedback on which one to prioritize first. So please comment down below on that. Any questions at all about this trip, obviously leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And for you Insider Club members, scroll down below and you're gonna see the post-trip analysis where I show exactly where I was, where every fish was caught, and exactly what the tides and weather was so that you can look for similar spots under similar conditions on your next trip. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.